Hey, we're here on hole number, excuse me. <laughs> we're here on hole number 12. It is 344 yards of pure agony or ecstasy, right, Brian? Risk reward on this hole. Absolutely, folks. Just a gorgeous hole. The pro here, he's going for the green. Let's see how he does. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, Brian. Oh yeah. He went for it, risk reward. He is rewarded properly so, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how I do. Oh, Brian, get up on that fairway. I think it popped up over to the side of those. I'll take that. All right, Brian, I'm going to really have to Wait dig, dig down on Come this on. one. And you can't use that. Yeah, sure I can. No it's, way. It's, it's, I've been... No, 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 no. You sure? No, yeah. All my, right. My five-year-old nephew, Nicholas, would use this. <laughs> and he'd smoke it. All right, how about a gap wedge? We'll try that instead. Get in there. Now stick down on it. Stick down on it. Eh, 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 eh. Nice shot. Thank Very you. Nice. But I still think Nicholas's club would have worked well too. You might want to use this to warm up on every shot. Did Why don't you, you go home for the day? I thought this ball was going to end up on the green, but I got a bad hop up there. That's why they call it golf. Well, Brian, I still think I could have used Nicholas's club, but good suggestion, good suggestion. Best shot you hit all day. Thank you very little. Let's see how I can get this to roll. Get in! Get in there! It's not listening. That doesn't help. I know. Nor my blood pressure or my heart condition either, so. You folks can send checks yeah, to the Randy Tantlinger Memorial Fund to one. Read on this? In the city of the century of the 13th year, there was a putt to be made. A long, difficult putt. Get in for him. Yes. Nice read. Nice recovery. You got robbed. The golf gods robbed you. That ball should have hit the green and rolled in. What a beautiful day. Gorgeous. All right, folks, another beautiful par three hole here uh, at LeBaron Hills. Just a gorgeous golf. We need some clubs. Hey, kid, get up here with those clubs. Thanks. There you go, sir. Here, go Thank by you. yourself a personality. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you should. Hey, folks. We're always having a good time on golfing around. We're joined now with a local legend, basically, in New England, Jeffrey Sisk. If you folks don't know him out there, uh, his pedigree's pretty good. The kid's played in, what, five U.S. Opens, Brian? Five U.S. Opens. A couple other titles to his credit. Six Massachusetts Open Championships. Two New England Open Championships. I'm sorry, Brian. It's, it's, it's three. Three. Oh, okay. it's, it's, it's three. I'm sorry. Okay. That's not. Give me the buck back. Oh no. Uh, well, <laughs> I kind of need it. Times are a little tough lately. You know, it's nice, but uh, times are tough. You I'm just won the Mass Open a couple I know, weeks but, ago. Uh, I got a lot of bills to pay. Yeah. I got a lot of things I have to take care of. You know, and, and that's why I'm part-time caddy. You know, <laughs> so I can help myself out. You know? Folks, we're joking around. You know, Jeff's uh, been around for a while, and he's winning, and he's really out there. He's slugging and his dreams are coming true daily. Now let's talk about how important, like Brian's tours, the NAPGT has been to your career, the developmental tours. You know, it's helped an awful lot, to be honest with you. You know, I've, uh, I've worked pretty hard in my game. I've been fortunate enough to play the PGA Tour, play the nationwide tour. Things have gone well, but uh, this has allowed me to play and keep working on my game. It's close to home. 
tournament setups are great. You know, a lot of guys don't understand how difficult the courses are set up nowadays with pins cut on edges. Our tournament staff does a great job, and it's certainly helped with my career. And you know, I've been fortunate enough since I've been playing this tour. I think I could be wrong on the number right now, but it's probably close to 15 tournaments that I've won since uh, I've started with Brian's tour. That's that's wonderful. And Brian, you've got to be excited about the caliber of players that participate on your tour. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Jeffrey's our number one player by far. He's he's won the most money on our career money list. So. But there's some young guns out there coming up after you, yeah? yeah? There are, which, which is great, which is what pushes those of us that have been there that these guys hit it so far and they hit it pretty, you know, again, pretty straight. They putt it pretty well. And, you know, for me, it, that, that keeps, help, you know, making me work harder on my game so I can try to get back up to that next level again. Can you give me a couple tips? Sure. You know that short club you're using? Yeah. Bend a little bit lower at the knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> hey, why don't you join us for a couple signature shows? You want to do good. that? That'd be awesome. Good. Thank you. Carried it back. We'll see you at the cart. Yes, sir. I like him. He's all right. Uh, a little he's, verbose, but he's a little pushy as a caddy. Yeah, he really is. He ain't getting